Hello everyone! So today we're going to be talking about an older mod called Terre Expugnande. Now uh, this mod is famously by uh, Lusted, who was quite a prominent modder back in the day. He was uh, the creator of this mod, Terre Expugnande, as well as the mod Lands to Conquer for Medieval 2. Now uh, these were not really my jam because, you know, I was not ever that into vanilla style mods. Uh, I think I've gotten more into the vanilla style mods uh, as I've gotten older, but uh, yeah, this one is basically, I'd say, one of the best vanilla style mods that doesn't really change up uh, too much, and I will uh, illustrate what I mean shortly. So, as you can see, this mod utilizes the Mundus Magnus map, and I don't think that really affects the vanilla-ness of the gameplay. Um, I mean, if you take a look here, um, most of the faction symbols are actually the same as the vanilla faction symbols. Uh, some of them are recolored, some of them are different, right? So, uh, the Roman symbol is... Um, different. Of course, you don't have uh, the Roman families here. Uh, you have Epirus, you have Bactria, um, and, you know, uh, a lot of these other symbols, right? Like Parthias, or uh, Carthages, or uh, Pontuses, Armenias, uh, Scythias, Spains. These ones are vanilla icons. But, you know, because some of the icons were changed, and the... Um, the style of icon changed with it, the vanilla icons were edited accordingly, so they they don't really stand out too much. They, uh, the art style is still pretty consistent. Okay, so let's uh, get into the campaign here, which as you can see is a pretty basic sort of Mundus Magnus campaign setup with the addition here of uh, Epirus, which I don't believe is in the standard Mundus Magnus vanilla map, of course. So let's uh, get into this uh, campaign map here. All right, so as you can see, uh, I've gotten into the campaign as uh, Pontus here. And uh, the reason I wanted to do that is because I'm pretty familiar with the Eastern units uh, and the Hellenistic units in Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition uh, and uh, other similar mods. And I wanted to uh, make a comparison here. So a lot of the units in this mod are actually, I don't want to go so far as to say as they're the exact same, but a lot of them are very similar, right? So um, this sort of more realistic looking Eastern infantry, who's not wearing pajamas, um, is, I believe, very similar or the same one as the one that's in... Um, Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition, and I think that's a very good thing, because those units, uh, they look pretty nice. Now, uh, Pontus is perhaps not the best choice. If you choose uh, Parthia or Armenia, the units will be a little more colorful. I'm not sure why Pontus is so uh, colorless here. That uh, That is a little bit less immersive when everything is so colorless. But I really like the look of those units. Okay, and if we look at the cavalry here, actually, that'll be a good thing to do. So the Pontic Heavy Cavalry, again, a very vanilla type unit, and then Bodyguard, the Eastern General, again, very, very vanilla in style. Other than this, things like uh, characters at the start of the campaign, uh, cities, a lot of that is pretty much either Mundus Magnus or Vanilla, and even traits as well. There are additional traits in this mod, uh, but a lot of that is left Vanilla. So what this mod really focuses on is in the gameplay, the battle mechanics, right? So if we take a look at a unit here like the basic Eastern Infantry, you can see it has an attack of 4 and a defense of 11. Right, so pretty much every unit has higher defense than attack. This is, of course, very not vanilla. And a lot of work was done on um, rebalancing this mod so that battles don't take too long, right? So they're not as long as, 
I don't know, a siege battle in Europa Barbarorum or a field battle in Roma Serectum. Uh, but it is longer than vanilla. Uh, I'd say the balance is not quite to the level of chivalry, so you'll have fights in chivalry that last longer. Of course, there are morale shocks. But uh, I think there are even less... Um, uh, battles will take, in general, longer than a mod like Chivalry, but shorter than mods like Roma Serectum and Europa Barbarorum, so pretty Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition-ish. And I think that's actually a pretty good balance here, because Vanilla, for me, is definitely too fast, and um, mods like Roma Serectum, for me personally, are a little too slow. Maybe back in the day I would have preferred that, but uh, especially because I wrote AARs back in the day, so I need to get screenshots. But um, I definitely prefer this battle balance. Now, let's take a quick look at the campaign map here. And uh, before I do anything else, I want to talk about uh, buildings. So as you can see here, buildings and their effects are pretty vanilla, pretty much as CA intended them to be. So construction times have been altered a little bit. There are things that have been changed uh, and adjusted. But mainly, like if you look at these uh, barracks, the practice range, it basically allows you to recruit um, or the, the buildings basically work the way they do in vanilla, right? Like there are no surprises, nothing that you'll find really out of the ordinary. And if you, if you prefer that, if you prefer the sort of vanilla gameplay where you don't have to read a manual or a PDF to just figure out how the building, a tree works, then this is definitely a mod you should try. And I think, you know, it's very different compared to a mod like Vanilla Enhancement, which keeps more of the vanilla look, but really changes the economy gameplay a lot, the campaign gameplay. Um, this mod, I'd say, changes more of the battle gameplay, um, but the campaign gameplay is pretty consistent. Perhaps a little slowed down, but it's pretty consistent. Uh, other than that, let's take a quick look around the map. If you've seen basic Mundus Magnus, then you have seen this map. So I believe this map utilizes some sort of um, different campaign map textures, environment textures. I'm not sure if this particular one is Vegemod or Ro I don't think it's Roma Serectum environments. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Of course, I have uh, I have to thank Lan Jane for this because Terre Expugnan Day was pretty hard to find uh, for a long time there. Even though it had a sort of definitive gold edition, it was really hard to find, especially in recent years. But uh, Lan Jane has kindly uh, repackaged this mod, uh, put in a little bat file launcher uh, so that you can launch it pretty easily. I'm playing this with Steam, Rome Total War, a gold edition. And it's pretty stable. Things work pretty well. It's a pretty polished mod. It's a very polished experience, as you might expect from Lusted. Of course, his Lands to Conquer mod was, I'd say, so polished and well done in the vanilla style that, you know, CA hired him, right? So uh, this is a mod with a very good uh, pedigree, you could say. I really appreciate the provinces that have been added here for this uh, mod. I believe there are some differences here compared to regular Mundus Magnus. Not everywhere, but in a lot of places. Um, I prefer the faction uh, setup here to Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition. So Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition doesn't have um, Dacia, for example. It just has giant Thrace, right? The biggest Thrace I've seen in any mod, right? It's basically most of the Balkans. Uh, it has Epirus. Uh, this mod has Epirus. Uh, and it also has uh, the the Brit uh, Britannic tribes here in uh, Britain. 
It does keep a sort of vanilla feel, especially with the amalgam factions like uh, the Gaelic Confederacy, uh, the Scythians, and the Germanic tribes being sort of amalgam factions. And of course you compare that to, oh, and the Iberians as well. Oh, and of course you compare that to other areas on the map where you don't really have that amalgam faction feel. I mean, not all of the starting positions are 100% historically accurate, but um, they're pretty pretty good for a vanilla style mod, and that's of course uh, has a lot to do with the uh, Mundus Magnus pedigree here. I don't know, that's the word of the day for me, pedigree. I don't know why I keep saying that, but um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this mod. The battles, uh, you know, as I said, pretty straightforward. I don't think there's anything I have to show there. Uh, I might stream this mod because, again, thanks to Lan Jane, this mod is readily available. You can find it in the description. Uh, and it's a classic mod. I really recommend you try it, especially if you're looking for a vanilla experience, right, that doesn't really change up the economy and the campaign gameplay too much, right? So this is a very vanilla experience on the big, nice Mundus Magnus map. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about Terre Expugnende 5.1 Gold Edition. Again, recently repackaged, prepared by Lan Jane for your consumption. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing to the channel, consider liking this video, uh, consider becoming a channel member or leaving a super thanks for the video to support the channel, and I will see you in the next one later.